Welcome back to Sunrise Daily. Well, now we've got uh, uh, Dan Wanyao, who is the national chairman, Zenith Labour Party. We also do have uh, Ima Anene, who is a legal practitioner. Gentlemen, thank you for coming on this morning. Thank, thank you, you for having me. Much. I'm going to have to start with this one. It's a major talking point across the country uh, concerning what's happening on with the CGA. And, uh, let me start from you, Chief Wanyao. What do you think of this whole scenario? Well, I, I think we, we have decided to... Uh, create a problem for ourselves. How to deal with a judicial officer such as a judge and the Chief Justice of Nigeria is clearly stated in the Constitution. The power to remove a judge or suspend a judge or take disciplinary action against a judge rests with the NJC. It is the NJC and, and this predicated on the fact that the appointment of a judge or judges fall within those appointments that has statutory level. When an appointment has statutory level, you don't treat it like master-servant relationship. The fact that it has statutory level, you must follow strictly those provisions stated therein in the Constitution on how to deal with such officers. What has just happened, I think, uh, is the overzealousness of some persons advising the President on how to deal with a situation probably they didn't have a solution to. And uh, this has earned the President some knots. Even most of his supporters we met over the weekend, they're angered that this is affecting what they're doing for the President. Yes, if you look at the Code of Conduct Bureau Act, in course of declaring your asset and you omitted certain things, which was brought to the attention of the Bureau, the Bureau writes you. If you reply to the Bureau admitting those omissions and in attaching them or including, including them in the depositions you had made, is it, a, is it ends there. So is this an admission or non-declaration uh, of false declaration? Part no, of no, no. It amounts to the same. If, if you don't declare, you can, it can be taken to be omission. Because it's forgot. Because you forgot. The form. But that also means false declaration. No, 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 no. You may forget. Those who have, there are so many Nigerians that have even forgotten their houses. <laughs> there are so many Nigerians that have forgotten where they kept money. But I'm going strict to, to the law. The law gave provision made provision that persons may forget and that's why the tribunal must write you and if you say okay tribunal has known this you say yes sorry it's my own i forgot you attach it the law says it ends there and you need not do any further action mm. what do you think well chamberlain it was a black friday for all lovers of democracy due process and rule of law Mr. President just staged a coup against judiciary. I'm not interested in people that advise Mr. President. It is for Mr. President to take such advice. If the advice earns him a, a, um, a clap, that is for him. But if that advice earns him a knock, that so is for him. Let us remove people who are advising yeah, Mr. But President. If he acted based on an order, was, can that be defined as a unilateral action? Everything about that order is nogatory. First of all, the order so was made... Have, okay, should he have discarded, disregarded the order? The order doesn't exist in the eye of the law. If Mr. President said, I hereby suspend the CJN based on the allegations against him, that would have been a different thing. But Mr. President predicated the suspension on the order that is no gathering on the face of it. So, but gentlemen, beyond these legalese, what about those who are out there who think, but wait a minute, if all of this is actually leveled against CJN, doesn't that give some people the impression that this is not just right and he should have just stepped aside? Y yes, you see, you see that I was coming to that before you stopped me. If I were near Buhari, President Buhari, I would deal with it differently. How? Good. I'll invite another. Look at this. Chamberlain, is there anybody in this country talking about what is in that asset declaration form? What was found? Nobody. Because they have followed the wrong step. I've been issued. 
is talking about it. Those things found in that document are German. They are potent. But they have left the issue and started chasing shadow because the interest is get the CGN out. What, what's the interest? Well, the interest is, it, is, is that it, CG... Is it the elections? No, no, no. The interest is that CGN must go for whatever reason. Call him, put it on his table. Okay. Well, well, just a minute. Just let me 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 round up this. Let me round up this. Let me let me round up this. If there are such huge sums of money there, that is what they should be chasing. And if you confront him with it, you need not tell him to leave. But nobody in Nigeria is talking about whether the CGN, if you so add, what, what if you you add all his him? salaries since he became a judge, will yeah, earn such amount of money. What if you money? confront him and he doesn't still resign? He cannot do that. You take him to the NJC. He's taking, that is why the law said, take him to his colleagues. They'll say, come on, we can't continue. This will bring disgrace to us. He will leave. Chamberlain, there is no law that provides for a ceiling upon which the amount of money a judge can owe. That you find $20 million in, this, in the account of a judge does not amount to an offense. And that's what I'm saying. He has to explain it. Let us, let us, let us he has to explain it. it. Now, if you want to explain it, there are processes. If you read Section 3 of CCP and Biru Act, he said if there are improprieties, if there are infractions on the declaration okay. by any mm. uh, public but, 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 officer, but, but, but that this when there is a written no, no, that, When you say that, one will wonder that is this whole episode about the war against corruption or is it about the 2019 general elections or is it about uh, instituting further or further deepening our laws in this country it cannot be for war against corruption a stabbing minister of the federal republic of nigeria who is a senior member of the bar told the whole world that he thought that being a member of a certain status of assembly amounts to serving in NYC. He quickly ran to court. He knows the provision of the law. He quickly ran to court. Mr. President has not acted on it. Now, if it's about war against corruption, you cannot fight corruption with corruption. The, 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 the order, the so-called order procured from CCT was procured uh, illegally. I believe so. Because wait. there is no lawyer. I'm coming. I'm coming. There is no lawyer that moved that application. All right. Number one, it was... It was we need to move to the main subject. Even the CCT. Let me make this point. Hold on. We need to move into the main subject. Let me make this, <laughs> let me make this point. Or else you don't have time to respond no, to that. Time. And I have, uh, there will be time. If you reach section... <laughs> you can't determine when there will be You will create the time yourself. If you reach... No, let me... <laughs> Would you be I mean, judicial? Chamberlain, <laughs> if you reach section 23 of the CCB, the CCB Act, even if Dalla the Uma convinced Joseph Sonogen, the order given in the S party order, he doesn't right. have to resort to let's move on to the, is on Let, Let's move on to the main focus for this okay. segment. Just wanted to get your views on that, but it turned out that it's much more than we'll bargain Yeah, because for. it's a controversial issue yeah, that, so, that will not go away like that. Yeah, 